welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats and today I'm going to be recreating a Marks and Spencer's strawberry trifle. Now this is a kind of copycat recipe. I'm also making this because it is Flavia's favourite thing in the world and it's her birthday. So I thought, hmm, let's make something special for my waifu. So I'm going to show you how to do it and it's all from scratch, nothing store bought. But I will tell you the measurements of each thing if you just want to do it from store bought stuff if you're in a hurry. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. To make one vanilla and lemon sponge, you're going to need half a cup of caster sugar, three quarter cup plus two tablespoons of plain flour, one third cup and two tablespoons of milk, one quarter cup of soft butter, that's about 55 grams, one tablespoon of canola or vegetable oil, one teaspoon of fresh lemon zest, one teaspoon of baking powder and one pinch of salt, and half of an egg. The way I've done this is just cracked an egg, beat it up, I took half of it out of a bowl. And you're going to need about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, but I'm using vanilla bean paste. It's my favorite. To make your vanilla custard, 35 grams of cold but unsalted butter, four egg yolks at room temperature, 70 grams of caster sugar, 35 grams of corn flour, and one pinch of salt, one teaspoon vanilla bean paste, or you can use a vanilla bean pod, 400 mils of milk. I'm using full cream here, because Flavia loves it. So for the strawberry compote, you're going to need three cups of finely chopped strawberries. So make sure you take out the core of it and then just chop it. It doesn't have to be exact because they're going to mush up anyway. You may need about one to two teaspoons of sugar for your compote, depending on how sweet your strawberries are. Mine are very sweet, so I'm not going to need any. You're just going to have to use this by taste. I just wanted to keep the full fruit, but you're only going to need one tablespoon of lemon juice and half a teaspoon of lemon zest. Then you're going to need two tablespoons of orange juice. Don't worry, that's only like a quarter of the orange. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So then for the cream on top, you're going to need about 500 mils of fresh whipping cream, one quarter cup of caster sugar, and about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract. So the Marks and Spencer trifle that we're trying to recreate, it has a compote base with a little bit of vanilla sponge in it and then it's got vanilla custard and then delicious whipped cream on top. We first had it when we were in London. Flavia's actually made a vlog of it. She films everything and puts it together. I just kind of stay there, eat food or cook. It's great. Um, and she said it's her favorite thing in the world so I thought it would be appropriate to make it on the birthday. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. Mm -mm -mm. So to make our compote, what we're going to do is put our strawberries into a small saucepan, put our lemon juice, orange juice, zest and cinnamon all together and then just let it cook. We're going to put it on a high heat first, let it boil. It's so easy, that's it. Wow. Plip, plip, plip. Okay, so now we're going to put this on a high heat and bring it to the boil and then bring it down to simmer and let it cook for about five minutes until the fruit disintegrates. Now you can do this with a fork or spoon, but I'm using a masher just here just to help the process along. This is the point where you add your sugar if you need it. I would start with one teaspoon, then try a bit of the fruit and if you need to add another teaspoon, but mine is fine as it is. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this down to a low heat and let it simmer for about five minutes. Make sure to stir it every one minute or so. So while our compote is cooking, we're going to make our cake batter. First we're going to take our softened butter, put it in our mixing bowl and then we're going to beat it until it's light and fluffy. Now I'm not using my KitchenAid mixer because it's uh, having a bit of a holiday right now. So we're using our good old fashioned one. So now we're going to beat in our sugar for about two to three minutes. Now we're going to add our egg and beat for another two minutes or so. Egg. 
Okay, so now we're going to add our vanilla and lemon zest, and then we're gonna mix it again just for about 10 seconds. So what we're going to do now is put our plain flour into a small bowl. Then we're going to add our baking powder and salt, and then we're going to whisk this together. This just saves us time from sifting, and it's a lot cleaner, and it also gets rid of any lumps that might form. Add a third of the flour mixture, beat it quickly, a third of the milk mixture, beat it, and then repeat until it's all finished. Then scrape down the sides of the bowl. Then we're going to add the oil. Beat again for about 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna cook it. Oil. We're going to put our cake batter into our cake tin. This is about a 19 centimeter cake tin. So a little trick that I like to do with my baking paper is I take a square of it like so, fold it in half, Fold it in half again, and then kind of on the diagonal, so you look like you have a little triangle cone thing. You go from the middle of the pan out, so it hits about the edge where you need it, and then you cut it out. And it just unfold. Oh my gosh, with the bottoms. Just get a little bit of the cake batter, just gonna dot it around the bottom. You can also grease it with butter and flour, but because we're going to break this cake up later on, it, it's okay. Ta-da. Then just spread it evenly in the pan. So now we're going to bake our cake at 180 degrees Celsius or 355 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 15 minutes until it's all golden on top and you can touch it and it's nice and spongy. Bye. Bye. All right, and our compote is done. So our compote is done, it is still steaming hot. So I am just going to put that to the side and let it cool a bit. Then I'm gonna cover it in glad wrap and put it in the fridge until it's cool completely. Now we're going to make the custard in the meantime. So I push this down over the top of the compote so that it doesn't form a skin. So in our small saucepan, we're going to put our milk and vanilla. Now if you're using a vanilla pod, just put it in there and let it infuse. I'm just putting in vanilla bean paste, with all I can. Um, and we're going to put that on a low heat so that it simmers and the, warm, the milk becomes warm. The warm becomes milk. We're going to whisk together our egg yolks, corn flour, sugar and salt in a small bowl. So we're just doing this while the milk warms up because this helps prevent lumps later on. Blip. Oh look at that beautiful colour. So now we're going to add about a third of our milk to the egg mixture. This is just to introduce the heat to the eggs without them cooking and scrambling. You don't want that in your custard. Just slowly stir it together until it's incorporated. So 
So now that our eggs have warmed slightly, we're going to place it back into the saucepan and then we're going to heat it up and then we're going to just stir it until it thickens up all delicious. It should take about five or so minutes. So you need to keep whisking this constantly on a medium high heat until it's nice and thick because if you don't it can either burn on the bottom of the pan or it'll have lumps in it and you don't want that. So be patient, trust me it's worth it. Nothing's really sticking. Watch how it thickens up. Do you see the difference already? It's not finished but look. Time to thicken up. Laura! What? <laughs> <laughs> I like the batter. <laughs> Okay, so I've taken it off the stove and let it cool for about a minute. Now we're going to add our ice cold butter into it and then just stir it around until it's melted through. You wanna make sure your butter is icy cold at this point when you add it. So while you're actually making the custard, maybe keep the butter in the fridge. So now I'm just going to cover the custard with glad wrap and let it cool in the fridge until ready to use. This will take a minimum two to three hours. I usually make this the day before. And I also put the glad wrap down on the custard itself so it doesn't form a skin. Okay. Hi. Hi. Nice and soft and springy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add our sugar and our vanilla to our whipping cream and we're going to whip it until it's all nice and frothy and whipped. Then we're going to assemble our trifle for Flavia and Marks and Spencer. So now that we've got all of our parts assembled, like the Avengers, we're going to put them all together in our little adorable trifle glasses. Of course you can make this one giant layered trifle, but when we had it in London they were little mini sizes and they're gorgeous as cute as F. These are about 300 mils in volume, so we're going to go strawberry compote, a little bit of our crumbled up sponge cake, then we're going to go vanilla bean custard and the whipped cream on top. I'm just so excited right now. I'm just trying to contain myself. So just Imagine how I feel right now. Imagine how Flavia feels right now. Okay, so let's do it. Oh, it's so fluffy. Let's crumble it up. Kind of defeats the whole point of making the cake. But you know what? We're here. Now, because you want to see the layering very well, slowly bring the custard to the edges, otherwise it can go too far up the glass and it looks messy. Okay, now you don't have to pipe the cream in a bag, but we're recreating the Marks and Spence thing and it has kind of stripy cream on top, so I just want to stick true to it. So I'm just going to pipe the cream like so. Okay, 
you guys, so that's how you make my Marks and Spencer's trifle. Uh, this is dedicated to my lovely wifey Flavia. Um, and yes, I'm so excited to eat it, and Flavia's been drooling this whole time, so we shouldn't make her wait any longer. Come on, let's eat. Alright, we can actually cheers as well. Oh my god, we can! Mm -hmm. Cheers, my lovely. Cheers, my lovely. Alrighty. Let's see oh, this. oh, I'm so excited for this. Get all the layers. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's good. Oh. oh, that is on par. Because the thing is, like, it's, slightly it's slightly more tight. 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 Sorry. No, slightly more tart than the Marks and Spencer mm. one with the compote, but I like it because everything else is quite sweet in it. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's, it's nice. that is amazing. Well done. <laughs> I am very <laughs> impressed. Happy birthday. Yay, thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm happy oh, with this one. I could eat this all day. Oh, yeah, you probably didn't need that much cream in it, but Flavia likes cream, so she's going to eat the rest. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Mm. I'm eating trifle with my wifey. <laughs> oh, it's so good! Mm -hmm. Making my dreams come true. Yeah, every day. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you want us to make any other food or recipes from anime, manga, TV shows, movies, games, let us know. Comment in the section below. Message us on social media. Talk to our faces. We're pretty friendly, so if you want to. Um, but yeah, so see you next time. Bye! Bye.